Justin. Yeah, perfect. I'm gonna sing and there's a lot of smoke out of the smoke machine. Oh, okay. Just relax. I also have seizures. <laughs> Just kidding. Please stop. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Very excited to be here because, uh, well, usually I'm the only gay guy here, mm. and now I got a full blown homo here with us. <laughs> Not some half ass, I like boobs as well guy. We're talking fully blown gay. Right? Mm -hmm. You are fully blown gay, right? Full f yeah. You could he we can say that. I can say that, right? I mean, yeah. That was a note. No, I mean, you got the shirt on. Yeah, but if I'm half, I don't get to say it? That's a no. no. That is a, that is That's a, a good question. You hesitated, and that is a no. You could say it. You're part of it. Yeah, it's like being half black. Yeah, you're the B. <laughs> it's like being half black. Yeah, you're the B. What's up, my... No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. You can't, you can't just say it and then... Yeah, say right. it. Yeah. Right. Right. What's the line on that, though? Because like you can't, you can't. We are well, not the, the three to ask. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, no, 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 no. He's right again. All I'm saying is, <laughs> I've noticed sometimes like you can't be one eighth gay. Right. It's not gen. Eh? I mean, it's not I like do know heritage. Some, I do know some people who are like, well, I can say that because I'm black, and I'm mm -hmm. like, your yeah. dad's German. Your, yeah. Your mom, I thought was Filipino, but if you're telling me now she's half black, I'm not sure you pass muster. Yeah. No. 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 You can't be like I'm one thirty second Native American. Yeah. No. No. no can't. I've heard the. That one be done. I'm I'm a th I'm three. What am I? Three something. Three percent East Asian. I'm not saying any uh, Asian s slander at all. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, thank you. You really worked on yourself this He's year. He's married to a Japanese lady. And has two half Japanese kids. You're not allowed to do it either, right? Eh, but oh, I oh hey, whoa! Hey, <laughs> I mean, he says no. it all the hey, time. Hey, chill out. <laughs> yeah, I can do it, right? yeah, 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 it feels good, right? Yeah, I did. It did feel good. The, the answer Especially is with you giving me the thumbs yeah, up. Yeah, like, yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. No, Justin Martindale's here, by the way. Yeah. That's his name. Fully gay. <laughs> I mean, that's not like like a colon fully gay. It's not like a my Mission Impossible title not or like anything. A, not, not like a Herbie fully loaded. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's, we'll talk, that's Jason. Jason's fully loaded. I am fully loaded. Yeah, yeah. I can hear it from here. He yeah. does. Yeah, I am not. I'm fully sober. You. <laughs> I'm so. Oh, sober. I didn't mean that loaded. Oh. Oh, just loaded with. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Nah. I've become less gay in my sobriety. That'll happen. But I've also <laughs> really. <laughs> I told you I got autism. I believe everything you say. <laughs> That's fine. That's yeah. your problem. I know. That's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty empty right now. I think I'm okay with it. I really like. Sex as much right now. Yeah. yeah. But still, uh, I love the ladies. You know, I'd still bone a lady. I would still bone a guy. Yeah, you do everything. Yeah. You're, I like You're trans a renaissance people. man yeah. of the legitimacois. I really. What? <laughs> That's how I pronounce LGBTQIA, the legitimacois. I want to do that. Yeah. Legitimacois. Legitimacois. Yeah. Just sounds. I'm a member mm. of the legitimacois. The legitimacois. I like that too. That's cool. Yeah. Thanks for being on the yeah, show. Thank you. I, I wore my we made it happen. outfit. Thank you. you. And I have a feathered <laughs> earring. I don't know if you can see that, but that's pretty gay too, don't you think? I mean, no. I mean, it, 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 yes, and it could also be like it's on the wrong side. Ren Fair, post apocalyptic. <laughs> I went to a Ren Fair the other day. The other day? Yeah. Wait, it wasn't, it was like a small Ren Fair. 
Was that just like a Christmas village? Medieval <laughs> times? Is that medieval sure. times? I don't think I know what a Ren Fair is. It's like you... the the Renaissance Fair. What's that? It's like where you <laughs> go see a bunch of medieval. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah. I went to a small Renaissance Fair. But where? In in like in the in downtown, but where the factories are. You went. It's where that I might to... just be Skid Row. I think so. I was was there like furs and. <laughs> They had like, there was a lady that made mugs and the, the mugs had boobies on them. And then there was a lady that made leather stuff with like, with bolt, with, with, with bolts and like chains hanging off them. And then there was this one lady that made all these little chests that you put your jewelry in and all the stuff on the, on the, sh all the stuff embroidered on it was the devil guy that the bold devil guy that like hails Satan and all the naked ladies. And he's like drinking wine and, and, and the satanic pentagram behind him. That's just Santa Alley. Oh, oh, there was a Santa there, and he had <laughs> Santa Alley. <laughs> Santa had chains all over him and a, yeah. and a death metal face. Different Ren Fair. Yeah. yeah, it was a small that's, one. That's a Renaissance that has not yet happened. And mm -hmm. they had it. They had a food truck, and I got a chicken sandwich there. And when <laughs> I was, bit into the chicken, like... the chicken was b black. You either went to the fashion district or you saw a homeless dude running around with a battle axe. Well, or, then I was yeah. in the fashion district. Or Krampus was on fentanyl. <laughs> he yeah. looked like he was hungover. You bit into a piece of chicken and it was black? It was not black. It was dark, but it wasn't, you know. Inside. Like, yeah, like the meat was dark. And I remember I was real hungry and I was like, oh, whatever. I'll burn it off. <laughs> burn but I did off. feel sick after it. <laughs> I'll burn it. I did feel sick. But then it went away. Mm. Were you under the impression that it was intentionally black because everything there was the blackest? No, oh, no, no. They were not a part of this Renaissance Fair. They were a food truck that was in the Renaissance Fair because they had like <laughs> fried chicken sandwiches and fries and they weren't like evil fries or like dark. You know I mean, it wasn't a dark. It didn't, they wouldn't call it a dark chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. It was a deep fried chicken sandwich. And when I started eating it, I looked at the meat and I was like, oh, that's not good. But as I said, I was real hungry. And it's like I've always had this thing where if I'm real hungry, if I don't eat, I'm going to say something stupid. Mm. And I was with a lady that I was I uh, like and I, I was trying to like be nice, impress and, her. Yeah, yeah, be be impressive and not and be like interested. Like sometimes we would stop at a booth and look at stuff and I would see the booth next door that looked more interesting and I really wanted to go over to that booth, but uh, I would like walk over there and then I'd be like, "No. <laughs> no, be be a good In the moment. Be yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, also realizing what a potential like just instinctually what a butthole i am because i would totally do that with my ex-wife first of all i wouldn't have gone second of all if i had gone i'd be like oh my god how long is it gonna take who needs this belt you know but this time i was like oh i really like this belt yeah turns out it's actually quite fun to be not an asshole i was enjoying it yeah it's a christmas miracle isn't and it? then i went on a second date with her and i pointed out this battle axe earring that i really liked and she secretly got it for me and gave it to me at the next date that we had. Cool. It was really cute. So this sounds promising. I really like her. Oh. Yeah. But that's stay cool, Jace. Yeah, be cool. Big Daddy Jace Cake's got to stay cool. Yeah. Let's yeah. not get all hyped up, you know? Yeah. You've been hurt so many times. Thanks, my <laughs> <laughs> Look at him crumble. Uh, oh, look at Gingerbread House. He got me. <laughs> he got me bad right there. <laughs> You know me so well, Michael. I can't do it. I can't just jump in because she could burn me. And yeah. then, I, and then I, can't, I don't know hey. if I can recover from another burn, you know? Once so bitten, twice say, pie, baby. So twice shy, baby. <laughs> I'm so burnt. I'm burning alive right now. You're like the chicken itself. Like the just Seriously, black I'm chicken. I'm like a dark fried chicken. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll survive. Do you like uh, uh, Mackle? What's his name? Macklemore? Yeah. No. <laughs> right. No, I just recently got into really uh, yeah like yesterday it's I didn't even know I mean I didn't know he was still around yeah well he got sober <laughs> well, I didn't know I didn't know any of this was this I didn't the, like him. was this the beginning of your journey no it's not the beginning but it was the beginning of the 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 light of the journey uh -huh. I've been in the dark in the on this journey Macklemore's been... I feel like a good artist to show you the light yeah yeah, I'm really. It's sober music. For it's sure. sober music. That's what's happening. It's like Christian music without the God. It's the new which creed, is, which is oh come on, <laughs> right? I mean, but like in a good way. I feel like Creed still it's is not, around. No, it's not a good way. There's never been a good way. I, you know what? Shut up, Jace. It's is the closest it the whole, like, you're gonna get to creed, Christian music. Creed Jason. might be good. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I just know that 
Macklemore speaks to me. Yeah. And I know that sounds bad. Mm -hmm. Terrible. It's like if Amy Grant rapped. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Amy Grant. Yeah, she's Christian. She's Christian, she, yeah. It's like it's like Jimmy Eat World. It's like rock and roll for kids who want popsicles instead of beer. Right. Right. Okay. Well, you guys are bumming me out. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. You can have you can enjoy whatever music you want. Look, I don't like all his music. Actually, I probably only like one song. Is it the gay one? No. Okay. But I'm happy he did that one. <laughs> yeah, I am too. Because he helped change straight people's minds about gay people. Well, I don't think it <laughs> Not at all. Okay. Maybe like a straight a guy listened that had a no. problem with gay people listened to that song and was like, we're all good. Well, Macklemore said it. Right. Yeah. I, I was a very hateful man, but that yes. Macklemore song right. really turned me around. Yeah. What am I even doing here? I thought. I know I'm not supposed to say it on YouTube, but f you guys. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Macklemore. Thank you, Macklemore. I know you yeah. don't know me, but you fuck. You saved me, bro. He keeps me warm. I listened to one song over and over again all what? morning. And it makes me emotional and it makes me happy and it makes me believe that is there's a better future and I'm in it and I'm very lucky to be here. Good for you. That's a, so I can't hate on him because all it's given me is positive vibes and it's going to make me because I'm a beacon, you know, and I got to go to the, light, the lighthouse has been shut off mm. and now it's turned back on and I'm ready to spread the love. And I believe that I can make a shift on this planet for good. And Macklemore had a little bit to do with it, and I don't, I don't sound so that hurts so much to say that, but I I I believe it. it hurt. Yeah, because I also saw when I went on the second date with this really cool chick, we went to a, a band, and she's into real dark metal stuff because she's a real dark metal chick. She got see, tech. this is all making sense now. I don't think it was a Renaissance fair. I think you went to like a full on dungeon. No, because nobody whipped me. Well, that's okay. It could be dungeon adjacent. It just sounds like you went to a heavy metal flea market. Yeah, yeah. right. A, a swap. Mm. A heavy metal swap meet. <laughs> Man, YouTube's going to hate you guys. <laughs> no, we're just, I was like, this we're is trying to clarify, here. dude. Yeah. All right. Well, then, yeah, it might have been a metal. Yeah. yeah. If it was small. Rent fairs yeah. are usually large on land with it was small. old timey yeah. shit. It was small. Okay. Yeah, turkey legs. Yeah. But you mentioned that your poultry was on bread. Yeah. yeah they didn't have turkey legs. Oh, no. uh, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, Renaissance times. Did they talk? Utensils, like. Did they talk in like a Renaissance act? Like no, but okay. there were Renaissance people there. As a matter of fact, the girl that I like has been to several <sighs> Renaissance things, and she dresses as like an yes. evil princess. And yes, I feel like Ren Fair and heavy metal kind of coincide with yeah. the same demographic of people. But it sounds like you went to like a garage sale. Okay, I'm okay with that. I like war. I like that you know war. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, very, you're, you're very, like, you know a lot for a gay guy. Hey, um, your okay. Macklemore is like, my war. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got it figured out. Yeah, but they, they had a lot of, you know, they got like cool incense y things that mm -hmm. you, and like all different kinds of Bernie things. And then they got like evil soaps and stuff. And evil I like, soap. I like soap, but I like evil too. Uh, I like to clean myself with Satan, yeah. and it feels like you know. What I mean, I got all the god off. I didn't, sorry. I like a good soap as well. Right? Yeah. I love soap. There's man. a great soap called fucking good soap. Right. You too. FG doesn't like great. That soap, but I do. Yeah, I, I'm really into soaps. I'm really into baths lately. Mm. And thanks to Brianna, she gave me like some smelly stuff that I put in my bath, and now I, I want more smelly stuff. And then I decided, uh, like, the more smelly stuff you put in the same bath, the cooler it gets. And I'm starting to really, I'm like, what about the lighting? And I'm like, you know what? I could really go with some incense in here uh -huh. on top of all this and then, like, have some Viking music playing over the top. Work. And it's, yeah. yeah. Work. <laughs> you get work. <laughs> so you say, is it like a gay saying? I mean, it's just like work. Work it out. Like, go. I'm trying to learn gay stuff. Yeah. So well, you you're good with, like, Smelly bath stuff. That's okay. good. Okay, well, that's good. Is it like bath bombs? Yeah, I got a bath. I got that. I got like the bowl. You got a man. I don't know why they make those balls wrapped in plastic so hard. It's so hard to get the ball out, man. And you got to use your teeth. And I'm, I'm trying to bath bomb. I'm trying right. to be calm, and, and I'm stressing salts. out trying yeah. to get this ball out. Yeah. And it's like by the time I get the ball out, I'm like, man, this ball better be good. Fizzy. Yeah, because and, and it's not. Uh. And I got to break it down my hands to make it fizz quicker. Oh, you got Amazon bath. Bombs. Yeah, I got him from CVS. Uh, oh yeah, Ooh. don't do that. No, 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 no. I, 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 can't, I know. Can't. It's okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll move up. 
As long as yeah. you're not listening to Macklemore while you're taking a bath. But I what? totally he, do that. But is there like LED lights in the bathroom with the bathtub? Because I like that whole, what you were like, put a bath bomb in, put some rock and roll on. Just, LED lights, like nightclub vibes. Yeah, why not? Take a rock and roll bath. Oh, uh, yeah. I never thought. I'm, I'm trying to relax more. I'm mm -hmm. not trying to rock. Oh. But at, in the morning. I'm hey, Enya? Or <laughs> Maybe, like, yeah. I, I in the morning the sun goes through the window on me in the bath. Mm. Is, yeah, Macklemore is pretty cool for that. <laughs> because I've been in the dark and then now I see the light, you know. Mm. And then the light is on me. It's like it's it's all happening at the right time. It's like poetry. Yeah, yeah. It's which is also dude. gay. Do you have any super hetero habits? Yeah, this outfit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty. I don't know. I mean, I feel like I've got, I mean, I, I have a lot of straight friends. Mm. All right. Um, like more than, you, you can. You, know, you can't count them, right? Mm -hmm. I No, I can't count right. them. Yeah, no. There's so many. There's so many. Yeah. Right. Um, Is that because you're a comedian, do you think? Mm, probably. I don't know. you're a comedian to everybody. You're not a gay comedian. No. They you want know. to. They want to. Do they? Oh, have yeah. You, they you... want to put me in a little bracket See I that, but I, I won't let them i would love that no I, I don't i'm not successful in, in any bracket of comedy so yeah. i would take i would take any bracket oh, that wanted me oh uh, but you you saying that they've been like why don't you come and just do yeah and you won't do it uh -uh. wow you've saying it with like <laughs> disdain like what <laughs> no 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 not disdain it's just i like i will do those shows and stuff but yeah. it's not like i'm going to that's like all i do when you do those shows do you do straight joke? You do your mm -hmm. stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And they get they, they yeah yeah. But I'm not. I, I it's not it's not my, it's not my whole thing. Right. You know what I mean? Well, it's that, not. It doesn't make me who I am. Right. It's I'm like not, being a. It's like being a band who's Christian or a Christian rock band. Like Macklemore. Yeah. I mean, all right. <laughs> Leave the guy alone. All right? like, probably, probably a nice guy. Yeah. But you. I mean, you. I'm not trying to disrespect the gay community, but you have so much range it would be it, it wouldn't be right for you to shorten your talents to do just gay jokes right it, you have it, i've seen you at the comedy store killing and nobody was it wasn't a gay comedy store night it was no you were killing to everybody right they were all into it the end the end that's how i feel i like i that. mean if there is like a like a, a theme to the night then you know sure but i don't want that to be like just what I do. Right. Do you yeah. think, because I noticed a, a lot of gay people know a lot more about what's happening in pop culture. Mm -hmm. Like whenever I watch your podcast, mm -hmm. what's it called again? Sorry. Just saying. Just with saying. Rundale. Yeah. That you do a lot of stuff that makes me feel like I'm not, uh, I'm not working hard enough oh. uh, in my community. <laughs> Cause I don't know. Same with, uh, what's her name? She was going to be on, but she couldn't make it. Michaela. Oh yeah. yeah, what about her? Well, I did her podcast in Vegas. Yeah, and mm -hmm. she asked me stuff like gay quiz me. Oh yeah, and I was. Michaela loves that though. I was really bad, like <laughs> like what? Insultingly <laughs> bad to her and the community. Like I was like, I have no idea what you're saying. She's like, What does this mean? And I'm like, I have no idea. What and was it? What did she ask you? Do you remember? Yeah, it was oh yeah, back rolls. Oh, and I was like back rolls. I, what the hell? That's hard. That's like, that's like a, that's like a diehard fan. Okay, but that's, it was really good. Do you know what back rolls means? Only because you've mentioned yeah, it before. Right. Okay, that's like a RuPaul's Drag Race reference. It made me want to watch RuPaul's Drag Race. You should absolutely. I should. Way fun. Now we're in. I mean, now I. Whew, there's so many of them. For example, hmm. I'm. Uh, what are the other things that? from like gay culture that jason might not know about the stonewall riots do you know what year those started no no what is that did anyone die at stonewall it sounds bad probably well no, judy garland the day it. before huh judy garland the day before oh yeah good yeah, yeah you're pretty gay yeah. dude stop it yep, yep, you're meeting yep. me stonewall 1969 it was the the riots that started gay pride pretty much wait there was a riot there's a police raid in a nightclub in uh the stonewall inn in new york city and and the police were going in there to like arrest people and people were picking up bricks and said hell no and they were going in there to arrest them for being gay uh-huh so they were like correct me if i'm wrong they were like gay clubs and everybody knew where they were just like there's any sort of like quasi-legal well, yeah because you could be arrested back yeah. in the day because that was 
okay, I guess. Right. <laughs> so every just, now and again, they would just be like, tonight we're going there. Yeah, we're going to do like a raid. Probably what they do with cockfighting. Yeah. You know, like once a month, we just go over and bust yeah. it up so it looks like we're making an effort. Well, and they were like harassing the patrons. Yeah. And it was like, oh, well, we're cops. We can get away with this. And they just had enough and said, yeah. no, leave us alone. And they fought back. Yeah. And then because of that fight, like they were not victorious, right? I mean, yes, they were. They defended the club. They defended the club and they they sparked a riot where people were like, enough. We're tired of being persecuted. We're tiring, tired of being like talked down on and, and called immoral and dangerous. Yeah. And did, did straight people on the streets join? Uh, or was it just a gay fight against the cops? I think it was pretty much like just the, in the area of where the Stonewall is, uh, Stonewall Inn is. I don't they think it was like so a giant city uprising. But no. they put up so much of a fight that the cops backed down? I believe so, yeah. Hell there were yeah. some that were arrested, but I feel like at the end of the day, there was like a I it was like a victory. You and know? then small that, victory. And then yeah. that date became the date every year for gay pride? Pretty much, yeah. It's June. That's why June. It happened in June of 69. Huh. Right. Well, I'm sure there was some community support for it because late yeah. 60s, you're talking about people who are, you know, the hippies who yeah. are like civil rights, et cetera, just got folded into it was that. Just but kind obviously of leading the charge was the, the gay community of yeah. the West Village. Yeah. They but were, really, the Judy, the Judy Garland thing is not a joke. I've heard that it was like she had passed a day or two before that and she was obviously had a great relationship yeah. with the community. A lot of people had like been to her funeral. People had been up all night and they were like, they'd been drinking in her honor and they were like, just, you know, you get that real tail end of a very long drink where you're just kind of pissed yep and the cops came by and, and they were like, like can we just, just have a not, goddamn moment not today yeah just leave us alone yes. today yeah yes. supposedly it's not a coincidence that a, she had just someone had. picked up a brick and yeah. threw it at him yeah yeah sorry cops but good you yeah know, stop picking on us yeah i would have i would have helped i think you would have you would have kicked some ass i would have done well riots. i would have been arrested pretty quick yeah get, get in the bag with that one <laughs> what else do you want to know a lot a lot Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to know like about uh, with straight people that you think are gay. <laughs> oh, you like, want me to just out people? <laughs> well, you don't know for sure. Yeah, yeah. What straight people do I think are gay? Yeah, like do you think Tom Cruise is gay? Oh, Tom Cruise is something, right? He like a bit like me, maybe. Well, he's a I Scientologist. Don't... Yeah, I mean that's a whole nother level. That of... makes you not gay though. Well, I don't think I don't. I don't know. I feel like when you're that su successful, you can. Do whatever the hell you want. Mm. I just got into a show that's kind of gay. Which one? Interview with the Vampire, the TV series. It's great, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Did you? Uh, the second season comes out in January. I found out all about this last night. Oh, you did? Yeah. So I watched the the ones until there's the next thing. It's awesome. Yes, I it really it. is. But it also opened my eyes to the original movie and how it made no sense because I don't read, so I haven't mm -hmm. read the book of the of the real story. Tom Cruise and, and and Brad Pitt not being gay in that movie mm -hmm. was like it didn't like the whole heart like why Tom Cruise is heartbroken about Brad Pitt moving on doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. Now it does. I didn't read the book, but I'm like, <laughs> you two loved each other. Well, the interesting thing about that is that Anne Rice, who is the author of that book and all the vampire chronicles, um, she passed away, I want to say like two years ago, maybe one, she passed away recently. And um, she wrote the screenplay for Interview with the Vampire. She also wrote the book, but she wrote the screenplay to actually be able to sell it. So she had to change the screenplay completely so Hollywood would be like, oh, okay, cool. And then um, Christopher Rice, her son, who's gay as well, um, took her original book created the series and did the series uh how his mom wanted it to be this series this series yeah so this is the actual correct canon of the interview with the vampire i mean it, book. it's better yeah it's better than the movie and i don't think i've ever like i TV. think it's way better than the movie yeah like and also because of what we have today uh production wise exactly it's it, the like the the trick stuff that you use in movies is better than Interview with a Vampire, mm -hmm. and the acting is better. And like, does it have Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt? No, yeah. these guys, Those wigs. Ugh. These guys are doing really great work, yeah. and and it, and it and it all makes sense now. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, the guy's in love with the other guy, and 
the, like and then him just saying even the guy like the guy who's Brad Pitt who's now a black guy yeah the guy who's the guy from Ga uh, Game of Thrones yeah oh yeah he's the oh, yeah. the servant uh, the the, the, to, the castrated yeah, yeah, yeah. soldier yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, he's got a dick now yeah but he <laughs> he talks about how you know I'm not gay but sure in some times when I drank a lot you know, I mean have I had some experiences and I was like hey I, that's how I was. <laughs> <laughs> I, every now and then I got, you know, I did like a lot of stuff. And then I was like, eh, it's not so bad. But if you ask me at a certain age, I'd be like, I'm not gay, but yeah. I've, I've done a couple of things that, yeah. were, that were, you know, induced by drugs and alcohol. And then for him to fall in love with this other vampire, it just made me realize how dumb that movie is and how I still let that movie be okay with me, even though I didn't understand like the, the, reasons why tom cruise was so bummed out with brad pitt i know i don't know their real name their vampire names lestat Lest and, uh, Lest and louis yeah like how they were not like it just didn't add up like what's your beef with him <laughs> moving on when you're clearly both gay mm. you know yeah I was it's weird that we can't we couldn't do that in the 90s that's what blows my mind because right? they were like the two biggest like leading men heart throbs everything and it's like wow how powerful that would be now if that was right the case how much further we'd be along if right it had to happen then yeah but i can tell i did stand up in huntington beach last week well and, there you go and i remember thinking <laughs> i know at, at first i had a, i have a story about china where I, I sleep with china the wrestler very hedro and i was like this is safe in huntington beach and i did it and i didn't see a light or anything and i was like all right i'll i'll go into some some gay stuff because it's like what's your first story and i was like first the time something happened and i was like first time i did anal and i was like i know what you guys are thinking but i'm talking about my butt and then i watched some straight dudes like with their wives sitting at a table literally put their hand on their face and drop their head like oh my god he's not gonna do that and mm. i like I, I i talked to them i i like worked with them and made jokes with them and made them laugh they they ended up be friend, like they came up to me afterwards and said I was really funny so it wasn't a bad thing but for a second there I'm like oh man cuz I've got that vibe with Huntington Beach in my head I'm already paranoid that I've seen YouTube videos of some of you guys looking real scary Huntington like, Beach yeah, yeah. And I was like oh man this is not the place to talk about that but I went for it anyway and just it's an innocent reaction like he didn't yeah. He didn't hate me. He was just like, oh, God, you're not going to talk about blowing a guy. Snowflakes. And I'm like, why is your hand coming up over your head? Like, you're still going to hear my voice. There's no escaping this. <laughs> you can't leave the you, room. You, you may as well move your hand from your face and look at me. I was like, I'm not trying to do you. Like, but it, but I could just, the, the instinct that he had, it's not his fault. Like, I didn't, I wasn't mad at, I, there was two of them, and I wasn't mad at either one of them. I was like, this is just how you know it. Like you're like, whoa! I don't want to hear that. But, but you were fine more with me about talking them. about China. Yeah. It says more about them and their insecurities. For guys who act all tough and like, uh, uh, and then, oh, you know, I think it says like, oh. I I just well, think it says something about them and it says something about their insecurity, but it also says a lot about their experience. You know, most people who operate in the heterosexual world at some point had a friend or watched a movie or whatever, and like the the road to like that becoming just a part of life that they're used to hearing about began. There are still some people who are still operating in a very heterosexual world yes. where it is still. A, 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 an ice bucket challenge to the face right. when a guy says that in front of them. And as you yourself said, it doesn't have to be coming from a negative or, or a hateful place. It's just that guy is still living in the world many of us were living in 25 years ago. Right. Good which, reference. Which the reaction that I could have had. It worked, you know. Yeah. They raised money and they actually uh -huh. did some real They did some real good research. <laughs> yeah. Oprah did it, you know? Yeah. Thanks, Oprah. <laughs> yeah, my, my reaction could have been different too, which could have ended up in a in just a negative experience all the way around but instead of me recoiling i was like hey man like you know i'm not trying to do you you know like yes and and, and i feel like he opened up to that welcome to stand-up comedy hey that's what they do it's i mean that's i i i've gotten that i've had a guy at my show like want to fight me because his girlfriend wanted a picture with me after the show. Yeah. And like he was like dead set on beating my ass. Yeah. And my brother, who was in the army, <laughs> was, was like, there. we're not going to do that. Yeah. 
And like the girl was like, relax, relax. He's like, no, you're not getting a picture. Knocked her phone out of her hand. I mean, it was wow. like uncomfortable. And I was like, did you not just see my show? Like, yeah. wh what do you think I'm going to do? But yeah. they're just like, Ugh, yeah. Ugh. It's like, oh, God, how embarrassing. You should have fucked her just on principle. I did. Nice. But in front of her. In, in front of the whole club. Well, you brought her on stage. You're naked choke. Watch it. Watch like it, it was a vampire club. I just dragged her up to the front and stripped her and just <laughs> bit her neck. And yeah, That's crowd funny. went wild. Yeah. That's funny. Hated every minute of it, but it had yeah. to happen. Yeah, lots of blood. Yeah, I just think that the more it's out there, I know it makes some people uncomfortable, but the more you will get used to it and realize that we're just dudes. Mm -hmm. And then you can. And then I, you still, can. I still deal with that on I stage. Bet. Where it's like. People that I've known for X amount of years, I'll go up on stage, I'll do my thing, and then I'll bring up the next person, and it's always like, keep it going for Justin Martindale. I don't know about you guys, but I think he's gay. <laughs> what? And I'm like, what? Really? It's almost 2024 and we're doing that shit? God. Or they're what? like, oh, you got, keep it going for that gay guy. Whoa. Yeah. I'm like, but I can't say it, you know. Yeah, I get I get that. Yeah, it's it's just really lame and. It's that's wow, well, that's crazy you say that because that happens. Or they don't know my name. All of a sudden, they won't know my name. That's that's well, one for the books. I'm not going to mention names, but there's people that I'm like in the green room and you know the main room yeah, at the oh store, yeah. and I'm talking to them. I'm like, oh yeah, da, 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 da. and then they'll go up on stage and they're like, who am I bringing up? And they're like, Justin, who? Justin Marndale. Who is it? And there's been a time where I've like pulled the curtain back and I'd be like, me, asshole, the one who was helping you with your jokes just now. Wait, that's you know them that well. Yeah. And then they've done that. Yeah. Okay, that would be a different thing for me. Cause yeah. I've had the uh, you know, because I'll talk about it and then somebody will come up and say, Man, uh, you know, I mean uh, good luck with that, you know, like like just butthole humor or whatever mm. like butt fucker guy or some stuff like that and i don't know the person so it's not as close but i do get i have been burnt a few a few times but i'm like it's comedy you know yeah. these guys are these guys are picking whatever they can to to make it work i i, I get it and and if i am triggered by it th then i don't understand comedy like why are you here but that's that how i try to yeah it. but it doesn't mean it doesn't hurt a little bit sometimes especially when i to me it's more if i don't know the guy at all and he goes wow that guy huh like let's let's uh let's talk about some vaginas mix it up a little bit here and I'm right like, that's what i was gonna say it's like if there's a straight guy on stage and he's like oh yeah so i was fucking this chick the other day and i was eating her out i'm like oh god i don't want to picture you naked and doing things to someone right. but i could sit back and be like all right let him let him go or if it's a female comic and she's like you know and you're like sucking a dick and da, da, da. but i think it's weird when a guy is like talking about it with another guy lesbians i think sure you know like yeah. if it's a if, like if it's a lesbian comic to be being acceptable by everybody yeah, yeah i think i think i think they get like kind of a free pass because they're Cause handy they have, it's because they have two innies yeah and they're and like if there was Some a doomsday they're gonna like be prepared that's so absolutely they're, right. they're gonna help you know hatch the fort and stuff so yeah well i mean i i can i do both <laughs> yeah. i did like i said i did both like four days ago first bit vaginas and and dicks and then second bit dick on dick and two guys had to cover their own faces for a second but when i was talking about the lady the, wait were the two guys sitting next to each other one now one they were about eight feet away from each other and mm -hmm. they both had wives because mm -hmm. yeah. i caught them yeah oh wow <laughs> you think they doth protest too much yeah they were like oh, oh, oh. there's an angle to that <laughs> yeah sure there's I, definitely an angle to that. it's not, it's huntington it, yeah. beach shit goes down yeah, right. because you might be... It's not protected. You might be gay, <laughs> but your parents live in Huntington Beach. Yeah. And then you're like, well, I'm not gay because I mm -hmm. can't be here. Yeah. If there were two they... guys eight feet away from each other and they both did that, they're fucking... Wow. <laughs> the, one of their wives totally wanted me. Yeah. Which I thought was pretty cool. Did you fuck her? Right in front of him. That's good, right. good, good, yeah. good. Well, and him. I'm really yeah. proud of both of you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> it's a two fuck minimum. That's what's yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> Honey to Beach thanked me. Yeah. Yeah. Did a great job. Uh, we have a thing. That we're we do have a thing. Do. We yeah. have a thing for you. What is a thing for me? Oh, we just wait and find out. I got to okay. press the button. But it's Wednesday, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, no. I probably should have. 
Does it involve more fog? No. Okay. But it can. It, it, it can. could. <laughs> I love fog. Wait a minute. Yes, it does. Okay, good. And, it inv- and lighting, lights. Okay. And stuff. It's a rock and roll thing. It's very interview with a vampire. Yeah, I love yeah. fog. Fog's gay. I'm 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 calling out. <laughs> hey, fog. you don't get to own fog. I yeah, I think you just took it. Oh, I come did. On. Fog. It's it's it creeps in. It's mysterious. It's usually in the woods. Yeah. It always just rolls in, really bitchy. You know, he's it right. always wow, is he's... there for an entrance. Mm-hmm. Wow. He just took yeah fog and made it gay. I'm a fogget. <gasps> fogget. <laughs> That's such a good. Man, okay. Who's greatest? Who's greatest? Wait. Who's greatest Wednesday? See? This is a bad button. Man. It's Who's Greatest Wednesday? This this production value. I feel like I'm at Cirque du Soleil. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, look at that. Oh. That was the wrong one. Reminds me of like high school theater. The smell too. Wait, I love this. It's like that, that cotton candy thing. It's something, right? It's probably of, like highly dangerous for our bodies, but oh my for goodness. now, it's I've okay. been playing it for like a year and I haven't died, so I think we're all right. If this is how I get popcorn lung, so be it. I mean, right? <laughs> popcorn lung. That's not even real. I don't think it is either. People just say that. It sounds delightful. Hashtag not my lungs. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you trying to find? Because I got I got news about the other. Yeah, just do the news. I can't find. They're it. not going to get a. Well, shall I introduce what we're doing since we yeah. have so much time? So we've been doing a segment a segment here for years and years and years called World's Greatest Wednesday, and what we do on World's Greatest Wednesday is we try to figure out the world's greatest something or other. Wait. Since the beginning of time, <laughs> there was something. It was a dinosaur. Uh, it had a stick. It's World's Greatest Wednesday. And now your host, a guy who wants to stick a thing in thing, and calls mom to thank you. That's low smoke. That's perfect. Jason Ellis! Yeah! Welcome to World's Greatest Wednesday with your host, I don't know, can't see him. (laughs) Could be anybody. Where is my fan? You said that we would have a Japanese fan. I can't live under these conditions. It's like sauna vibes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We don't have any Japanese fans, huh? Yeah, we do. Mm. For sure we do. We do? I don't know for sure, but... I no, we're big f- in Canada. Right, there's Japanese people in Canada. Well, there you go, then. I've seen a lot. I live there. There's a lot. So, so do you want to introduce the topic, or do you want me to introduce <laughs> You should. Okay, so what we are trying to figure out today with your expert help, okay. Justin, is who is the least sexually attractive heterosexual male celebrity to gay men? Oh... Good, right? Do I get a choice or do I have to just come up with who it is? We're just no, gonna we're, we're gonna, gonna spitball. We're gonna okay. Pick. The least attra- okay. Right. If anybody wants to text the show with their uh their nominees, mm-hmm. uh, you know the number. Does anybody come to mind immediately? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm I thinking. I did uh, I did gin up a little list here to get the ball rolling. Okay. I think he's a really talented guy. He seems like a pretty grounded dude for all of his accolades. He can do drama. He can do comedy. But if I'm a gay man, I want nothing to do sexually with John C. Riley. Right. I get that. Who's that? John C. Riley. Uh, Step Brothers. Brothers. He's the other Will Ferrell. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he's not hot. No, for, yeah. that, for that matter, Will Ferrell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's not hot. Yeah. Sexually, not hot. <laughs> no. Negative sexual criticism. Like maybe a hug. I don't oh. even know if I want that. Owen Wilson. Really? Really? Yeah. Because of the nose? No, just the, I don't know. The vibe. Yeah. Total vibe. What about his brother? Total vibe. Luke? Yeah. Do you right. see? Uh, it is it the six? nose then, isn't it? Maybe. I don't know. He has a really different energy. It seems like a really long face. He does. Yeah. I had one the other day where it was uh, um, Oscar Montoya was, he was on my podcast. He's in... Uh, He's in that show Minx on Stars, and he was asking me. He was like, "Is Willem Dafoe hot?" And I was like, "No." Yeah. You think Willem Dafoe? Yeah. Also, I'm suspect on that guy. What? I had him on my show. Willem. And I told him that uh, his movie Boondock Saints 
where he's the police officer who's gay but hates gay people. Right. I was like, I can, Huntington Beach. Yeah. I can relate to that. Yeah. And he was like, really? And looked at me like, I could tell he was like, where are you going with this? Uh huh. And I was like, I'm not going anywhere. I'm telling you that I'm gay, but I don't do gay stuff. Like, I don't like this was back when I first started gay, doing gay stuff and I didn't want to <laughs> kiss gay guys. Uh huh. Like, you could blow me, but if you try to kiss me, I'm like, what the hell, dude? That is gay as hell. It oh, took me like a couple one of, of those. Years. It took me a couple of years to let go of like my tough guy straight thing where certain things I feel like even though nobody could see it, I could see it and it felt really uncomfortable and I couldn't do it. Mm. I just couldn't do it. I wasn't like, <clears throat> I wasn't mad at anybody. I just couldn't do it. Good. And then practice makes perfect as you know and then all of a sudden i was like you know what this is actually pretty cool also i realized that when you kiss girls you look gay so what the hell who cares close your eyes and tongue them up you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and now you're sucking face left and right look oh i'll kiss dudes for a living here are the wilson brothers yeah wait i don't even know about that other guy he's really handsome is that the third one yeah no. how come he's not famous he's no. way better looking than both of them combined yeah who's he Andrew, Who the hell is that guy? Andrew Wilson? Does he sell like hair conditioner he products? He looks like he should yeah. be in the Bee Gees. Yeah, but, it's, but it's, sounds like a, a hair product, the Andrew Wilson. Do like you the, know him? No. Like the Chaz Dean of <laughs> the Wilson brothers. He's hot. Of like the Austin set? Yeah. yeah. Wait, I'm trying to think of like another one that's like, Bleh. no, but highly successful. Hmm. Uh, uh, Nikki Lauda. Oh, shit. Oh, he's a burn victim. Right. Not hot. Burn victims can be hot. Yeah, Who? but he's not. Oh. Who is this? Nikki Lauda. See, here you go. Straight guy stuff. Oh, Listen sorry. to me, brother. Sorry. This guy's uh, Formula One. Do you know what Formula One is? Uh, is that like an oil? Man, this is awesome. Paul Mitchell? He has no idea about this, you guys. He's is that so a car? gay. He has no is that idea. a car thing? Yeah. Formula is One. Is it a car F thing? <laughs> Formula One? Holy shit, mate. Is that the one where they go around in a circle <laughs> no, in Vegas no, and one hit the pothole? No, no, these guys go left and right. Okay, so wow, good cool. for them. And they travel the world. They don't just stick in one country. They travel the world uh -huh. and they're like globally famous and they get like the most money out of most athletes except for soccer players and Conor McGregor. You're not an F1 fan, dude. Who, me? No. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, I know. <laughs> I, used to go, I used to go to F1s, bro. How many have you been to? I've been to a few. Yeah, what? Because Tony took you. Who who's in fart. the top three of the F one right now? Oh, I don't care about new guys. <laughs> Bunch of Red Bull kooks gives a shit. <laughs> I'm talking about the real guys, man. The OGs. Yeah, the OGs. Schumacher, you know mm. <laughs> what? Michael Schumacher was the greatest race car driver that ever lived. <laughs> Dickhead, try to tell me I don't know about F one. I don't like Red. I don't like. I don't like energy drink athletes. Yeah, I feel like that's. All it is now, isn't it? It's just I, I, I like I want to be one because they get a lot of money and they look real cool, but they're all copying each other. You know, back in the day, they used to smoke cigarettes. Like, is it is it Mark Mark, Mark Hunt? He like raged. Mark Hunt? Nah, not that one. Nah, Mark Hunt. He like there's a movie you want to you might have seen. Mm, no, you didn't. Cause you Which one? Uh, what's it called? It's got the real good looking Australian guy in it. Oh, that one. And he That's pretends, a lot of them. <laughs> he pretends he's Mark Hunt. Thor. Oh, Chris Bale? Christian Bale? Nah, nah. Oh. Christian Bale's not Australian. The whole time? Nah. Look, <laughs> wait. Who's 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 Thor? Uh, Hemsworth. Chris yeah, Hemsworth. Hemsworth is in this movie, and it's it's about it's about the burn guy, but it, the burn guy is so cool that he makes the movie more about Mark Hunt. And Mark Hunt beat him one year. It's about the two guys. It's about the wasn't, two guys. Wasn't the name of the movie just the two guys' names? Wasn't no, that no, Ferrari no. versus called, Lamborghini no, or whatever? No, no. No. Did Ron no. Howard make this? Yep. Okay. It was called Drive or something like that. Formula Tur Drive? Turn left. Sh I swear, dude, you guys disrespected <laughs> Formula One like this. <laughs> Not cool. No, Mark Hunt. Yeah, because uh, who, who's the burn guy again? I lost Nikki Lauder. Nikki Lauder. Rush. Rush. Yeah, it's called Rush. It's really good, and you would like it. Okay, because like it's not about there's yes there's racing in it, but it's a real movie about those two battling for a championship, and like this is back when because this is the other thing. This is why I don't really respect these Red Bull guys. I love Red Bull; it's great. Monster's great too. Um, <laughs> you can't die. Like back then, a couple of dudes died every year in race cars. Yeah, yeah. so I'm like, 
you could win or you could die. And as a guy that like, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, I, I love almost dying. I feel like it's the biggest rush you can get on the mm -hmm. planet. And those dudes were the ultimate in, we could die today. And sometimes it'd be like, it's raining. And one guy would be like, it's too wet. It's going to kill like four or five of us. And one guy would be like, you're just saying that because you're ahead in the points, you pussy. Let's go. And, and Mark was the guy that did that. And he did like some ridiculous laps in the wet and passed all these people and ended up taking the championship. And then when he took the championship, instead of getting back in the next year, coming in hot, he just raged. And, and drank champagne and did bumps and smoked cigarettes. And then he died of a heart attack when he was 45. Jesus. Yeah. And, and the other guy tells the story about how if it wasn't for him, he wouldn't like such a, such a good man for, for instead of saying dickhead did this and dickhead did that. He was like, the guy was such a competitor that he drove me to be faster and work on my car and be better the next year. And, 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 and he ended up being, like a legend of that motorsport. Like not, not only did he like catch on fire, melt his face, he came back that season and could barely put a helmet on his melted face and race. Can you see a picture of the melted face? And you're saying he's not hot. Yeah. Not, and when he was, before he got burned, he was not hot. Ooh. But like, now he's hot because he's burned? No, I'm saying he's never been hot. Oh. <laughs> he's fast. Melted butter face. Yeah, he was a butter face and then he melted his butter face. <laughs> so it was just like extra not hot. Yeah. And I don't think he was that fit for some weird reason. Yeah. Maybe he had abs, but he didn't. His head was so hideous, it wouldn't make sense that he had abs. Can you put him up? What up? The guy whose picture we were just asking for, Nikki Lauda. Nikki Lauda? It's it's actually Lauda. I know you would assume that there's... Lauda? A... Yeah. Yeah, because he's French. Wait. Lauda. Nah. Yeah. I just looked it up, and it is, it is L-A-U-D-A. Oh, L-A-U-D-A, yeah. Well, this is... Ugh. Ooh. I mean, is that him? Yep, that's him after it burned and being old. So he, he looks kinda, great. Yeah, but you don't want to do that guy, right? Not Whoa. that one. That's but like how's that? That's, that's, he showed up there. That's him racing like completely <sighs> burnt. Ooh, is that his helmet? Yeah, he looks like that thing that when you in cocoon where they unzip their skin yes. and that thing come out. But that's like. When you're that mangled and you're in motor, because that's the other thing now, sorry, uh, major sports, they wouldn't let him drive a, it, at, like that. But back, it's like, <laughs> it's like uh, you know, boxing had, you know, 25 rounds. Right. And now, you know what I mean? And the, guy's been, and the guy had been knocked down like 17 times and, and he's like, you're good? And the guy's like, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he's yeah, like, you're good. Yeah, and yeah. they just keep going. <clears throat> it's, it's an era that I don't want to be in but I respect the hell out of it. It's kind of like hockey players that go, oh, you guys with your helmets. Like when right. I used to play, we didn't wear a helmet, you pussy. And I'm like, well, okay. I feel like hockey players are still pretty gnarly today. I don't play ice hockey, but I respect it. But if I was a guy in the seventies that had a leather cap on, mm -hmm. I could shit on you and you couldn't say nothing. Yeah. I did do it with no padding. It's like figure skating with crowbars. Like yeah, back in like, the day. Wait, oh, man, that would have been cool. <laughs> well, Nancy Kerr. I would have watched it. <laughs> oh, yeah. They did do that. That was a cool part of their sport. <laughs> that was probably the highlight of the whole Olympics. I mean, it, made, it really it was. It made us all like it. Yeah. Like, we were like, wait a minute, what's going on with figure skating? I heard that somebody got clipped. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With a yeah. Name, a, name a more compelling Olympic clip than Nancy Kerrigan with the freshly busted leg. Right. Mm. Who would you rather do, the girl that got hit or the girl that hit her? I would go conventional Kerrigan here. Right. Yeah. I'm not I don't into, know. I'm not into stock ladies. I would have gone the, the, the bruiser. Okay. I, like I think the, so I like too. chicks with scars. Yeah. Nancy Kerrigan, like. She'd just lie there and take it. You know that. She looks like a nutcracker. Yeah. Like if you, like a holiday nutcracker. Yeah. She looked yeah. like you'd have to light, on, light off missionary. Like, I ain't got yeah. No, no, sure, sure, sure. I don't think you're considering. Full bush. Yeah, yeah. Because full. she's too scared to tame it. Yeah. It's like yeah. just a. Corner full of daddy long legs. Yeah, the other girl. You think Tanya Harding had a had a Hitler mustache in? Oh yeah, ninety six. <laughs> yeah, she blasted herself with like shoes and stuff. She goes for it. She's hot in bed. You know, she eats your ass for sure. I think, believe it or not, an actual real life sex tape did leak. That I oh think, yeah, yeah yeah. That I think would disprove almost everything you're uh, saying. Right oh now. no, Michael. Yeah. I, I don't want to see that. <laughs> yeah. Put up Mark Hunt and show show Justin how hot he was because he was super hot and fast. <laughs> and 
he lived on the edge. And, you know, that's sexy, right? That's sexy. I think so. But if you're a gay guy and you live on the edge, is that attractive to other gay guys? I mean, the edge is so... I don't know. I feel like every, if you go, the edge is more broad now. What about Canelo? Like living on the edge was like, I'm going 70 and a 50. You what know? about Canelo Alvarez? If he was gay, would you do him? Who? That's fair. This is fun. I can, I can do this. You, you should do, we should do a show where you tell me about a gay guy. <laughs> and, and, I go, eh? and then I tell you about a straight guy. And you go, Wait, eh? who did you tell me? Who did you say? Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez? Yeah. Who do you think that is? Canelo Alvarez. It sounds like a, like a, Hmm. He's pretty big, like a soccer player. Not nah. uh, UFC. Getting close. MMA. That's the same thing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's let, let's teach you a little bit. Uf, UFC is an organization uh -huh. where they have MMA fights. Yeah. So MMA. MMA is in UFC. MMA is the sport. Okay. And UFC is an organization. And Joe Rogan is the god. <sighs> <laughs> I guess you're talking about James Hunt. Oh, yeah. Sorry, James Hunt. <laughs> you have me looking for sorry. Mark Hunt. You're, you're looking for Mark Hunt. Oh, wait. That's the fighter. Sorry. That guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He looks like That's the... a bad angle. Would... Get another one. <laughs> that looks like one of the Planet that's of like the That's like under Apes his people. nose photo. Nobody's hot under the nose. Get above angle. All right. He's not that hot. Yeah, see, God I mean, damn it. All you're right, contradicting yourself. You're wait, who's like... who's the Canelo Lillas? Yeah, show Canelo over because you'll think he's hot. You'll be into this guy. But what is what sport he's is it? He's a boxer. Okay. Real good. Red-haired Mexican. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. That's people, good. People have told me I look like Canelo. <laughs> yeah, if he had Down syndrome, maybe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, did he just did he just box recently? <laughs> yeah, he boxes all the time. He's sick. He's, He's pretty real good. good. Pretty good at it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You can get down with that, right? Sure can. That's what's up. See, I know. Yeah. Too bad. How tall? Shape. Little. Uh. I like that. <laughs> I like that you don't do little guys. Uh, Too I mean bad, that, little guys. But that's like a hey. Latin, that's like a Latin leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I did add a couple more names to yeah, my potential list. Uh huh. Uh, I I'm love that you did your research. Yeah, because I'm, I'm like I'm like I don't know. <laughs> I mean, there's the obvious ones. Danny DeVito is not a very sexually attractive man, or yeah, or is he? I don't know. Penguin was pretty hot. Even that penguin. No, okay. All right. Yeah. Steve Buscemi is not everybody's yeah. cup of tea. Although I think like, because what I'm picturing with these is like, take away the fame. Because there's there's plenty of unconventionally attractive people who still are able to do very well on like the average dating scene. Mm -hmm. I could imagine a world where a guy looks like Steve Buscemi, but he's like super cool gay dude and a bunch of gay dudes want to bang him. Danny yeah. DeVito, not so much. John C. Mm -hmm. Riley, not so much. Mm -hmm. you know? I feel like you probably also get caught up in the role that they play you know what i mean no nah, he's ugly all the way <laughs> thick and through yeah <laughs> he's never been handsome in a movie or on in real life he's a great guy great actor mm -hmm. not taking it away from him but he's not hot <laughs> where do we stand on paul, <laughs> paul giamatti paul giamatti yeah, nah is he did he ever was he ever not bald no like he was bald at like 18 right wait which one's paul giamatti so he's, he's sideways now uh, I think was he in Monk? That guy in Monk? No, no. that's um, I can't. Paul, that's Tony Shaloub. Tony Shaloub. That is a terrible. Oh, Paul photo. Giamatti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, His well, eye did something <laughs> weird recently. I don't know if it was like a like a. Did it finally pop? It yeah. like went like that. It yeah. like went off. Dude, did you guys see the video of Elvis Presley's eye coming out of his head? No, let's look it up right now. Type in Elvis Presley's eyes comes out of his head. He meets a little girl, and it's like you know, it's back when he's like getting on the on the liquid coke and stuff. And he like leans over and says, hey, or whatever to the lady. And then all of a sudden his eye starts, to, the la the little girl looks at him like, what the? F and and the, the other guy standing next to the little girl is like, what the? And then a, a, one of Elvis's boys comes in and blocks the camera. Is it a and, video or a photo? Yeah, it's a video. What if his eye came out? <laughs> Dude, he's not real. He's an, he's like, he's a, a, a lizard man or something. Oh, okay. Like his eye starts coming out and they start blocking it. And this guy's narrating the video in the present day? It is terrifying. There I was, Memphis, I 1974. The craziest bit about it is all the Elvis people know that it's coming out. Like, they, he puts a towel on it. Would you recognize the video? It's black and white. Elvis is... I'm not finding this video. Can somebody... Tully, can you type it in? Yeah. Is it in the dark web? <laughs> oh, I found it. I found it. Okay. okay. Is it this? Ooh. Oh, it's color. My bad. 
before yeah, last okay. concert. So watch, watch the eye. Look, he's got a weird looking face. The girl's like, I don't know. He's like, wait till you're 14 then she, and I can then, marry you. Yeah, right. Wait, wait till he, look, that eye's looking already suspect, but what she gets scared, what she gets scared when she looks at his face. He looks normal, he looks normal. Then he kisses her and then she looks. Look at, wait. When's the eye? Look at that eye. Look at the eye. Look, it's coming out, and then they're gonna. He's gonna see it, and then he blocks it. Look, then he puts his hand on the eye. Look, this guy's like, turn the camera. Look, his eyes is coming out of his head. Look at that! What the hell? Elvis's eyes coming out. Look at that! It's coming out of his face. <laughs> Did Elvis? What's going on with his eyes? I, I would be pretty come. scared if I met Elvis and his eye popped out of now, his face. Right? And I was a little child. I don't but they know. know. You can tell they go, oh, no, Elvis's eyes are coming out again. And his boys go over there to cover his eye. Look, the guy's like, gets in front of the camera. Look, he, look, he's like, what do you mean? What's wrong with the eye? And the guy's like, dude, seriously, right now is not a good idea for you being public. What the hell? I just think they're bulged out. But I don't think they're like falling out. That's okay. Let's say they're not he was coming out. He bloated as hell. Right. But let's say they're not. Okay. His eyes did not come out of his head. Sure. But if you were at a meet and greet and you turned around like, hey, Jason, and your eyes did that, <laughs> would there be cause for alarm? <laughs> would there? Yeah. But I feel like when you're on like 800 horse tranquilizers, you know, it's like that. Right. Which is, which it's I feel terrifying like, regardless. He says he's had head trauma before. Yeah. It, so it, have it, I. It, Get, get out! He's, out. You put my head up against Elvis's head in the trauma category, and I have him beat, guaranteed. How many times have he been knocked out? Not but, thirty, dude. But if you had that head trauma plus you were fat, maybe I've been. Eh. Maybe I've been chubby. Yeah, I've been you've been chubby, chubby, but not Elvis fat. Elvis fat. He wasn't that bad there. Do you know before he died? Apparently, he was like over three hundred. Oh, I'm sure. So He's... he was like high. There's no photos because he wouldn't do it. Which I feel bad for the for people like that. You know when stars like retire, like what's that guy, the redheaded guy that was in the CSI shows, Caruso, Caruso, da uh, David, yeah, he retired and now he's like a fat guy, but he's also like sixty five yeah. and doesn't take care of himself, and now he's got he's got he didn't have a big chin, I guess, and to begin with, and now that he's bulkier, it just like. It's a, it's and the people are like look how hideous he is. Look how like, gross they are. They escaped during the day. Yeah, and yeah. I'm like, man, you show me you when you're 70 and what you look like when you were 30. I like, know they did that with Bridget Fonda recently. Yes, they did. That was like, oh, leave her alone. Yeah. You know what's really strange about that is that you know she's been married to uh, Danny Elfman. Mm -hmm. For a really long time, he's like a musician from the 80s who's become like one he's of the big dope. movie scoring people. Yeah. He does like Tim Burton films. Oh, wow. But he is like 70 and he looks has crazy. Become, it's always straight. I know it's good very, or bad. It, he's roided out now. He looks like Carrot Top. Him and Carrot Top are the same person. So he looks good. Well, <laughs> he looks very muscular. Yeah. yeah. So he looks good. Low body weight. The, yeah. the face and hair form. situation is debatable. Right. But it. Compared to what a normal seven-year-old's head is, it's probably Abs good. Absolutely. It's just always, and I know this is insanely sexist of me, but it's always weird with a high-profile couple when the woman really, really, really lets it go and the guy gets insanely But he's fit. 70. He looks like this. He's like... He looks awesome. Good shape. It's very strange to me. It yeah. looks like um, Ron that. Weasley, like, in the future... How did like, he do that? As Carrot Top. <laughs> Have they made a Fortnite skin of Ron Weasley? Right, look. It's like he's... He, it's it's Gryffindor... <laughs> right. Griffin, Gryffindor memento. Wait, Metal. He's, he's <laughs> not hot for 70? No, he looks great. I mean, he was just saying that like his wife, Bridget Fonda, who was an actress, she was in like... If he were uh, to go back to... She did like, a whole bunch haircut. of movies... And they saw her outside, and they were like, she's unrecognizable. Look how hideous she is. Uh -oh. Throw her in the tar pits, you know. That's tough. <clears throat> what about this? I feel like when you're in the limelight or you're in a, in a game where it, it requires your 100% discipline, you know, like I know Supercross guys, Ricky Carmichael, greatest motor. So you, you I love Ricky Carmichael, yeah. <laughs> Really good friend of mine. Day. Yeah, it's so yeah. good. Ricky Carmichael is a dear my, friend of mine. He's my uh, secret Santa. Yeah, <laughs> I love Ricky, and Ricky was known for his athleticism. He wasn't. The, he even tried to say that he wasn't the the most talented. He was the hardest working, and he kind of changed the game of Supercross by being so fit that he could keep the same pace through the race. And then when he retired, 
he, you know, he was an announcer. He drank beer. You know, he loved his beers and he and he started eating whatever he wanted. And I'm like, I, as a guy that's had fights before and you you have to not eat and you have to eat a certain way to stay in that weight. And then if you're a real fighter, so it's your career. So for a decade, you've got to stay down to that weight. When you retire, you're like, uh, for the last 10 years, I have seen people walk past me with a hot dog and gone, oh my God, I would so love to eat that. Because I, mm -hmm. I can relate to that. Mm -hmm. I, I, did it, I did it long enough to know that I'm not... I was too old to have the discipline to want to be a pro fighter for 10 years. I, every now and then I'm like, the kids are having pizza. I am having pizza mm -hmm. and I don't care what I look like tomorrow. Ricky got big, you know, he, he pulled it back in and now he's in shape again. But there was a couple of years there where he got big and I'm like, I don't blame you, dude. Like at one point you were just a, a rock hard ab machine and you, you put all this effort in and now you're retired. Like, yeah, man, let's go, let's go eat like some nachos and get some beers because I haven't had any yeah. this whole time when you were in, you know I mean, you're like, man, Ricky, you're the best. I went back to the room and went to bed. You got drunk and had pizza and I've been dying to have it. <laughs> yeah. So I feel like if, you know, she's in the limelight, she's looking after herself. He's back in the, in the, you know I mean, in, in the shadows or doing whatever he's doing, not necessarily having to be attractive for his business. And then he gets to the point where he's like, you know what? I look like a pile. I'm going to get in shape. <laughs> a pile. And she's like, I have had enough of trying to be hot. Like, yeah. and I, like I feel like it's kind of healthy for people to let go of, of what they were when you're, when, you're, when you're holding this thing that everybody cares. Because at the end of the day, who cares what other people think about you? No, you know, yeah. like this is your life. Mm -hmm. If you want to look like an old fat turd, rock on. Yeah. Rock on, turd boy. I, I, I wish I could do that, you know? I get that. I, I'm nowhere near there. No, I, yeah. I'm not letting go. That's I'm, all he was I'm gonna... about to tighten it up. I'm going to go get Botox. You are? Yeah. Like for I, real? Yeah. I've been talking to some real hot chicks and, and I was like, what's up? Hey, like, and they're like, oh, I know this place. And I'm like, that's, I mean, because I'm single and I'm 52 and I don't know if anyone's going to want to bone me and I'm like looking after myself now and my head's real clear because I'm sober and I'm not just going to like fall in love with anybody. You got to be hot and you got to do, you got you better be good. You better have tricks too. Cause I got mad tricks and it's not going to add up if you don't have same le caliber of tricks. And I've got high level tricks, bitch. So oh, you, better wow. be, you better be sexy. Well, what, what Botox are you going to get? Oh, I, like, I do you know. know where you want it? Like, what are My you? My forehead, I can tell that already. But okay. then somebody said this morning that there's like a neck thing. And I was like, mine's not that bad, but I, I'll do it. No, I just want to get, I just want to be handsome. Man. You are handsome. But like real handsome. I don't have any Botox. Yeah, but you look good. Aren't you married too? Go on. Yeah. I'm not married, no. Oh, don't you have a partner? Yeah, yeah. Well, same thing. But I'm not giving up. Well, I respect that. Yeah. <laughs> because you want to keep... I'm not an hot. old turd person. You want to stay hot for your partner. Yeah. And you want to stay hot when you look in the mirror, you're like, I look hot. I work out. Yeah. But, yeah. It, but it's funny though, whenever I do like podcast or something that people are always like this guy needs to lay off the botox and i'm like fuck you because <laughs> i don't have any so it just makes me laugh you look that good without it thanks are you old no you don't look old <laughs> no, no. see i'm old i'm 83 years old <laughs> <laughs> oh my god he's a vampire see when you're not old and you don't have to get it yet but i'm getting old and I and I'm single, and I want to like. I want. I would. I would love to get it, but I've. I think it would freeze my face, and yeah. I use my face so much on stage. Oh, well, where I, I'm like, do I use my face on stage, Brianna. <laughs> Your forehead doesn't move that much already, though. Me? No, him. Oh, what are you talking about? Yeah. yeah. See, heard... but if you have Botox, you'd just be like. I don't yeah. know if I need look if I, if I can't if I can still go I can still be surprised if I get Botox right mm -hmm. barely dude uh, Bon Jovi can't sing anymore and one of, Botox? one of the theories is because he's had so much different than his face mm -hmm. he's kind of like Jimmy you two are going to die mm -hmm. wow there's a lot of and I, that's what always scares me all these younger guys and and girls are just doing it like yeah. way too soon and it's yeah. like fucking up their whole body that's the new thing I can tell a lot of these girls that are not getting old at all or doing it. it's like yeah because i'm touching it up before it gets bad and yeah like, no it's, it's not the, good it is poison yeah like that's official like i feel like if i get a couple of runs of it I'm, I'm i'm just looking to like trap somebody 
and then get old. And then get old yeah. and then tighten Be like, it cat's up. out of the bag. I actually look like this, but my charm has already got you on lock. Yeah, you're like, wait, I woke up next to a melted candle. Yeah. Oh, my God, it's Too that bad. race car We're driver. now. Yeah. Um, I did notice there was like, uh, I was going through Instagram or something, and I was seeing some people, and I'm, I'm at that point now where I'm like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So you, you can see it. You had some work. Mm -hmm. A little filler, a little yeah. lip, a little chin. Got it. Yeah. Do you so. think that, um, uh, what's that handsome guy that everyone's mad at that does stand up the other day? Got a new special. Who did stand up? He's Matt Rife. Matt Rife. Oh, yeah. Do you think he's. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Like, I'm just exhausted. He's like he's like the male comic Taylor Swift. He's just fucking everywhere. I don't want to talk about that bit. I just want to talk about the bit where because I see the before and after, and I'm like, I, oh yeah, I don't. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh okay, because that's how clueless I am. I've seen it on TikTok where it goes, oh, yeah. look at him here, and then look at him there, and I'm like, yeah. maybe he got older and went to the gym. Well, it definitely got veneers. He had like corn. Oh, nuts. he says that he had corn nuts teeth. Yeah, right. But and I'm then... talking about the face, like his jaw. I didn't, yeah. I didn't see it that much. Like when he said he didn't ha have any, I believed him. He definitely has my jaw. Uh, <laughs> it's like it's the square with the chin. Yeah. Um, and then I think maybe like a, he definitely had lip filler for sure. Oh. Um, I don't understand why you can't. I guess because he's younger. Like if I, like if I'll get it. But that's the that's the gen, and I'll tell that's you the like generation. I, it's like that whole like fuck boy culture. Right. If where, he tells everybody all like, that he got like, it. You know, it's, what are you doing? Yeah. They're always like rubbing their hands and like. <laughs> Yeah, what is that? It's so annoying. Right? It's so annoying. I know. They're just, it's this whole, they all have like TikTok perm hair. Uh, and they all wear like neutral colors. Yeah, what is that? I don't get it. Yeah. Yeah, why not just admit it and then other ugly guys could copy you and be handsome? Yeah. You're trying to just keep it for yourself. You know, like if I get it and I look way better, I'm going to tell everybody that if you look like me and you're starting to fall apart, you should get it. Cause look at me. Yeah, it's like being sober. Like I, I'm telling everybody, cause it, it, if it's going good, I'd be like, you should try it. You know, if you're having a problem with drugs and alcohol, you should try it. I look way better. I think way better. I feel like I know way more about what's going on, and I'm way less depressed. Yeah, and I want to try stuff just to try it. Yeah. Like I want. I've never done like cupping, or I've like, done that. or like. Like a cool sculpt, you know what that is? But then I'm no. afraid of like. Oh like, no! I do. Oh no! 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 We had someone on the show who cool sculpt and cool did it. Sculpt. Uh, it wasn't very cool. It didn't do. It anything. botched him. No, it didn't do anything. Oh, it didn't do anything. Yeah. It like botched Linda Evangelista. What do you mean botched? Like it fucked up her body and she can never like model again. Shut up. Well, she can model. She still has a pretty face, but like she's always like covered up now because she's because got, it like, wrecked yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I know, think it makes people like make ribs. You know, like they have weird lump patterns who was that guy that was the producer for our show that got he got abs it sculpted he in, got abs he sculpting was, he yeah. was like no, kind of a, a larger guy but when he took his shirt off he had abs in his belly so it was like I ew think, oh he ew. Had like a gut so he had a gut but, but he, he had abs shirt off, he had like ab weird. implants no, no. I, I think they also mcribbed those where they took fat <laughs> from somewhere else and and made like yeah. an ab i think and then stuck i think in there. oscar de la hoya got it recently do you know who that is he is a boxer hey yes yes, yes. i know oscar de la hoya do you know oscar because he wore women's panties maybe <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. And I didn't. We had like the garter belts on. Yeah, and he stuff. had like boxing gloves on, and I was like, everyone's like, look how gay is, and I'm like, no, it's kind of hot. That's cocaine, baby. Yeah, like, that's if, cocaine. I, I've done cocaine before, where I had all kinds of women's laundry yeah, it's on. Cocaine. I wasn't doing dudes. I was yeah. doing cocaine and women. Yeah, you're putting on gilded age pantyhose. That's yeah. what you're doing. All all your girls were like, put it on, it'll be funny, and you're like, hell yeah, okay, I'll do anything right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> do it sober oh. now. Uh, oh. I don't know if we've definitively figured out who is the uh, least attractive straight male celebrity to gay men. What about I drank your milkshake? Daniel Day-Lewis? Yeah. Oh, I'd consider dating him. Oh. oh, wow. Because of his mind? Yeah, he's just got a certain dapper, dapper thing about him. Let me think of someone who's like, ugh. I'll give you a couple more. I mean, Who's like, is you there... can't say politicians because they're all so no, 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 no. Yes. Well, can we reverse this? What gay guys do you not think are attractive? Ooh. Who's like, the, who are yeah, the, bang, who are the bangers? I don't know. Name guys. a gay guy. I don't know gay guys. You, really? No. Like, 
like Will and Grace guy. Will and Grace guy. Sean Hayes. He's not hot. <laughs> okay. I don't want to do him. That's fair. Yeah. He's like too. Let me call him real quick. Curly. Just... No, don't. Okay. okay. He's kind of a really weenie. He's, he's kind of a weenie boy. Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. want to do a weenie. Well, depend. If I was drunk, I would do a weenie boy. Because sometimes I like. What about like Matt Bomer I don't talk or about like it. who? Matt Bomer or Jonathan Bailey. I don't know who they They're are. They're in a new show called Fellow Travelers. Show me Matt Bowler. Bomer. B O M E R. It's Boner with an M. <laughs> Fair enough. It's true. <laughs> that actually helps. Or like Ross Matthews. Ross Matthews. Yeah. Like a news reporter? So that's Matt oh, Bomer. Yeah. No, see, I don't like, I don't like, yeah, he's hot. I, I agree that he's hot, but I don't like, um, I don't like white Americans. Okay. Like I, no, no. No that offense. Sounded, that, sounded, that sounded bad. Sorry. I don't like... <laughs> shut up, Justin. You're making me feel bad. I, I don't hate like, white... You heard it first, that's guys. That's what I'm saying. Get out of our country. I'm saying... <laughs> <laughs> I don't like... We love God and Walmart. I don't like cheese sandwich white people. Okay. Like I, don't, I don't like... <laughs> I don't like cheese sandwich white girls. Like, what's the girl that with the real nice teeth that she dated Justin Timberlake? Maybe Britney Spears. Nah, I like her because she, I uh -huh. like her because she's effed up. Oh, oh, you like her now? She's I don't like the, who's the Jennifer Gardner. Is that her name? Jessica no, Beale. huh? Jessica Biel, his wife. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. like Jessica Biel, and she's hot, mm -hmm. but I don't have no interest in that. Got and it. He's like a Jessica Biel man. Wow, that's how I see Matt it. Matt Bomer is a Jessica Biel. Okay, like a stock. It's a stock uh -huh. white guy. What about I like? Mangled. I like like rough or or I I'll tell you who I really like. He's not gay. Brad Pitt. I'm super into Brad Pitt. Okay, but I'm not into young Brad Pitt because he's too pretty. You like beef jerky, Brad Pitt. I like adult, A fine aged wine, Brad yeah, Pitt. Well, I don't really like old guys, but I like him. He's hot. I'm trying to and think. I like black guys too. Let me think. Like I like somebody that's been through something. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I, if that guy, sorry, I forgot his name. He's very handsome. Matt Bomer. If I got to meet Matt Bomer and he was like, you know what I mean? My mom tried to give me crystal meth when I was 11. Then, I, then I might, you're, I'm listening. I might be into it because then I know it. that we're going to, you know what I mean? We're going to break through in the bedroom and shit's going to pop off. So what about like a Jason Momoa if he was gay? Yeah. Okay. And I know him. And, and sorry, Jace, but I, yeah. Don't apologize. If he was gay, I'd be down for that. There you go. You, yeah. 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 It's more my type. Yeah. Got it. I saw a girl on TikTok. She's like a, a New Zealand lady, but like a Mary, like when my mum's ancestors bull, bullshit. Yep. And she got the 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 chin tattoo. Uh huh. She said she got it like she's a she's a recovering addict, and that she got sober. And at one point, she said she woke up and with it because she was so high she didn't even know she got it. Oh God. She is hot as hell like, with the tattoo yeah oh more so for sure i'm googling something right now to see i love if super the, tattoo if what chain. pops up so that means if you're a really cute guy and you have tons of crazy tattoos then i'd probably be into that too well it's like rough oh maybe i shouldn't have done this to answer your question i'm not all that s sexually attracted to perez hilton oh. he's really not hot yeah Ooh, and yeah. when he takes his shirt off i want to uh, sorry he's a nice guy but he's and not hot yeah. Really not. But he knows that. Yeah. Yeah. I liked him when he was bigger. Really? Yeah, it just made more sense. <laughs> I feel like he's fighting what he really is, you know? Interesting. Like, just be bigger. Yeah. Uh, his, you know, his mouth looked more proportionate. Yeah. Mm. Like, you could tell he was born to be a bigger guy. And, and like, don't be big enough to be like, oh, 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 like, it's hard to breathe. Then yeah. you got to tone it down a little bit. But I think he toned it down so much that... Right. Because he's hanging out with Paris Hill. He was trying yeah, to hang out with all those really lucky people that are just like, I don't, I eat burgers and I look like this. Yeah. Like it, it's not fair. He should go for medium Jonah Hill, not skinny Jonah. Hill. Yes, yes, Jonah Hill. Not into him. Yeah, Big, that's a good small one. Or anything. Great one. Yeah, I actually had both him and his uh, super bad co-star Michael Sarah on my list of male celebrities. Michael Sarah still has a a, a niche. I think. Man, who's a gay celebrity I do want to bone? Yeah. Give you got to give me one. Well, let me see. I We're just not leaving until I okay. I have. But I'm see, you start, don't like them. You don't I'm like slip into my into the. You don't DM. like pretty pretty boys. I could. I could. It could happen. Like Anderson Cooper. 
N hell no. <gasps> His buddy. Andy Cohen? Yeah. Really? Yeah. We've talked. I know Andy. Yeah. I would I would I would do it. You would you would you would bone Andy Cohen. Yeah, because I feel like what he is on TV isn't what he is. And I feel like <laughs> he could do it. <laughs> oh. He could give it to me. Once the lights I know he's a top too. Oh. And I'm not really a bottom, but I can switch and I would do it for him. Wow. Yeah. Watch what happens. More for the experience. <clears throat> but I feel like it'd be a good like a good dinner and then maybe breakfast. If he was mean to me afterwards, that would be really I would be really mad. Like what? he better be nice. Like why would he be mean to you? I don't know. I got that weird. Sometimes he's mean like to New the York. real house girls. Like he's not nice to them. Or well, I mean, my they, God, they're like they jackals are, in the are, woods. I agreed, agreed. But sometimes I feel like you know they say bad things about him. Like he might be mean secretly. <laughs> I don't know this. I'm just saying, if he was, it would be it would really hurt me because I gave him my butt and then he was mean. Brianna <laughs> wanted me to ask Little Nas X. Little oh, Nas hell, X. Hell yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm all about him. Really? Yeah, I'd give it. Yeah, we could go. Shut I like up, Miles. This game. Grow up. It's a good game. I would make out with him and stuff, Miles. Ugh. Jerk off. What about? <laughs> what about like Adam Lambert? Nah. Or Ricky Martin. Yeah, but yeah. wait, did he? He didn't do anything bad, did he? That was like a false accusation. No, they proved him. They proved it uh, that it was wrong. That it was uh, all a lie. Right. So then, yes, he we could we could bone. Yep. Okay, what about... Yeah, Ricky Martin's hot. There Let's you go. see. He's older too. He looks great. Yeah. yeah I want to go really... to his boat. Sean Mendez. Who's that? Well, he's not gay, but like... But he might be? Yeah. Ah, I mean, Justin knows. Who's Sean Mendez? He was a, he's a singer. What about Zachary Quinto? You would hate him, though. Spock? Spock, yeah. No. Okay. Absolutely not. This is Sean Mendes. That's that cheese sandwich shit coming again, man. This dude's. There's a lot of insane. cheese. I think this I've learned something. There's a lot of cheese sandwich. See, hell no, hell no. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, he's a bit of a twink. Yeah. So maybe I'd everyone's him, a twink. I give him a bit of a. If he wanted a good going over, I'd probably do it. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to date him because he's too girly. What about like? This is fun. It is fun. You having fun, Michael? I'm having a great time. I don't feel like anyone's liking this. What about Ben Plath? Who the hell is that? Yeah, thank you. Ben Plath, he's on Broadway. That's scary. Oh. Ben Plath. Yeah. Hell no. I know. Wow. I, just, I just get pleasure out of this. I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, Dan Levy from Schitt's Creek. No, absolutely not. That's Eugene Levy's uh, son. I don't like Is that, that supposed to make him hotter? Yeah, because that didn't help at all. Man. It's like a sexual Woody Allen. Yeah. I would let Elton John blow me. You would? Yeah. Like now Elton John? Yeah. Wow. In respects. Like farewell tour John? Yeah. yeah. Elton John? Yeah. I said, like, if he was younger, we could do it all. But now... But I see, like, Elton John younger was not attractive, but older no. Elton John is, like... Like a... T like... What about Good when evening, he had the, sir. in the New York when he had the baseball sequin suit on? Oh, the Dodgers was yeah. that the LA oh, sorry, Dodgers? Sorry, yeah. yeah, yeah, my bad. Everybody. I thought you did sports, bro. <laughs> I don't do football. <laughs> I don't do mainstream sports. Yeah, I, that one would have worked. I don't know the team, but I know the jacket. <laughs> <laughs> See, I am. I'm gay. like, oh, the Dodgers bedazzled onesie. <laughs> yes. What are the LA Dodgers? I got it. You know, out. they're a team. There you go. Yeah, wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. Are we supposed I, to go? I'm, I'm oh, fascinated. Sure. Andy Cohen. Wow. We went long. Yeah. Thanks for being on the show. Oh, man. we're done. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We went long. We're that was really fun. I really liked it. Thanks that was so great. Much for coming here, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have you on uh, mine. I look forward to it. I look forward to being that, stuck by stuff. every sure. single thing. Is that just saying? Just saying with Justin Martindale. Yep. Hell yeah. Check him out. At yes, what's your please. website? What's what about? You got a website so you can see two. No, and just my link tree. Follow me on Instagram at Justin Martindale. I got tours and shit. All that. Thanks, mate. See you next week, everybody. Don't die. <laughs>